Yesterday we said that we would bring Jeremy Smith to justice. That there was nowhere that he could run and that there was nowhere he could hide. And today, thanks to our community, to our fellow law enforcement partners, we were able to do that. And while our work is not done here, this now gives us the opportunity to take the time to start grieving the loss of our officer. Good evening, New Mexico. There's a sense of relief tonight knowing the man who investigators say murdered a New Mexico State Police officer in cold blood is under arrest. Tonight, we've learned that the suspect had a gun, and we are hearing from another person who saw deputies take him down today. Bernalillo County deputies told us tonight, Jeremy Smith is expected to survive. This comes after deputies shot him multiple times today in Albuquerque. State police say Smith shot and killed their officer, Justin Hare, Friday. Smith is also accused of killing a woman in South Carolina who went missing Tuesday. Tonight, we have exclusive new video showing the moment Smith was taken down by deputies. And we are hearing from a woman who says she saw it all happen through her window. I looked at him and I freaked out and my boys are like, yes, it's, it's him. It's the officer that it's the guy that killed the officer. Christina Chavez there says her daughter woke her up at 7 this morning after hearing gunshots. Soon after, even more were fired and they all took cover. Chavez then looked out that window to see deputies surrounding Jeremy Smith on the ground in her backyard. He must have come from this direction because you can see right over here. Here's his footprints. All right here is where he was laid. <laughs> all the officers were surrounding him in this whole area and the, there's still blood there there's still blood spots there there's still blood right over there um and then there are the the, the from the bullets the damage from the bullet right our Felice Romero explains what led up to those moments and why a 911 call from an observant gas station clerk put law enforcement back on the suspect's trail it was a tip from an employee here at the Murphy's gas station that gave law enforcement the break that they needed. Jeremy Smith seen here early Sunday morning. That's when a foot chase turned into a shooting nearby. For more than two days, law enforcement agencies in New Mexico and surrounding areas have been looking for Jeremy Smith. His mugshot and his name have been everywhere. State police say he killed officer Justin Hare in Tucumcari on Friday and then somehow made it to Albuquerque. He came in the second time about 702 in the morning um, asked for a pack of cool cigarettes um, I carded him because that's just my job um, I do remember from the reports his name is spelled a little bit differently it's not like the normal Jeremy it starts with a JAR Smith's decision to get cigarettes led an employee at Murphy's to bravely call the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office I was nervous I was scared um, didn't know if he was armed um, actually when I carded him, I was like, is he going to shoot me because he now knows who I am or I know who he is? Uh, the clerk's description matched that of Jeremy Smith. Deputies located Smith walking on Unser and they immediately started to establish a perimeter in a nearby residential neighborhood uh, near Dennis Chavez Boulevard in Unser. It wasn't long before Smith got into a foot chase with deputies who fired and hit Smith. Yesterday we said that bring Jeremy Smith to justice. That there was nowhere that he could run and that there was nowhere he could hide. And today, thanks to our community, to our fellow law enforcement partners, we were able to do that. Medics took Smith to the hospital. State police stood guard outside UNMH. In the meantime, law enforcement officers turned their search for anyone who may have helped Smith get from Tucumcari to Albuquerque. And while our work is not done here, this now gives us the opportunity to take the time to start grieving the loss of our officer. An opportunity given to them because of an employee at Murphy's with a hunch something wasn't right. Don't be afraid to speak up. You see something, you hear something, do something. I mean, this is our community. We need to protect ourselves. Feliz Romero, KOB4.
Many people who live in the area of that shooting were shaken up as law enforcement swarmed that neighborhood this morning. We spoke with another neighbor who witnessed everything play out. Uh, heard police sirens, then heard tires screeching, uh, and then I heard shots ring out in the neighborhood. That's Donald Gourle. He shot this video of what unfolded around 745 this morning. This is in the Anderson Mason neighborhood. He says he's happy the suspect was caught. He really felt uneasy knowing that Smith must, must have been just a couple of houses away. It's scary. It, it makes me nervous that somebody like that was here, that they came from somewhere else and were able to get all the way to Albuquerque. He says he and his fiance can now breathe a sigh of relief. That's true for so many in New Mexico tonight. Again, Smith is also accused of killing a South Carolina woman, Phoenicia Machado Foray. She was last seen Tuesday. Investigators say that they found her dead later. And Smith was driving her car the morning he killed the New Mexico State Police officer. We will continue to follow the latest on this investigation. You can stay with us here on KOB4 and online at KOB.com.